in a church family uh, because when your pastor hurts, um, you feel that hurt as well. Um, and so we'll, we'll just um, do this. We'll scoot, and I knew Bill. Bill said, <laughs> Amen. So we'll do this number. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Oh.
Darth Vader and look above G.I. Joe and the comic book grip. You moved on a little bit higher. They didn't motivate you anymore. You moved up a little bit higher. In Corinthians, this letter, Paul wrote a letter right here we're talking about today. He wrote a letter to Christians who had gotten gifts. Mm. Amen. He, they got gifts that would uh, 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 uphold them, that would minister, that were adequate for the church. Amen. As long as they were used for the right reason. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get a tool, amen, fit for a boat, amen, the right tool for the job. Mm -hmm. But you can take that tool and use it the wrong way. Well, if you take it and use it the wrong way, you can beat, amen, something into something that it should not be. Amen. If you only use the tool the right way. Jesus, in here, Paul tells the Corinthians, I'm almost through now. He tells them, he said, if you use the tool the right way, you use it in love. You use it to build and not to destroy. You won't covet the tools or the gifts I give you for the wrong reason. I gave you tongues. Now you run around speaking in tongues, thank you better than everybody else. When I gave you the tongue, they have filled the church up. Some of you have promises, and now you call yourself a prophet, and can't nobody even touch you. Matter of fact, you won't even visit another church unless they give you a certain amount of money. Amen. Mm -hmm. You take the tool and use it the wrong way. Amen. Yeah. Some of you that call you the pastor, and now you're pastor, and now you can't go nowhere and do no word of encouragement, can't say a welcome, can't hold a door, won't pick up a piece of paper just because they call you the priest. Amen. And that's not the right way. That's not the reason to use the gift. Some of you, you were all right until you got married. Then once you got married, now you ain't no good for nobody else. Can't nobody tell you nothing. You got been married a week and you think you've been married 20 years. The minute somebody calls you miss, now it's missing. You were just a miss yesterday. <laughs> Don't get so offended so quickly. Amen. Amen. Do you know what love really looked like? Let's back up in the chapter and look at it a moment. Somebody said, what does love look like? Paul had to describe it because a person who's never been loved don't know what love looks like. They think love is a feeling and love goes more further than a feeling. Because feelings come and feelings go. But love remains. Every now and then people love me, hurt my feelings, but I still in love with them. Verse number three in the same chapter, the same chapter. If you look, look, go let's go to verse one, 13, one. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, amen. I'm in first Corinthians chapter 13, verse one. Uh, uh, and have not charity, that's love. I am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. In other words, and though I have the gift of prophecy, that's God given gift. And understand all the mysteries. I can explain all kind of hidden stuff to you. Yes, sir. Yes. And understand all the mysteries and all knowledge. I know everything. Right. I got all kind of knowledge, right? Right, right, look, look. And though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity or love, I'm nothing. Uh -huh. yes, because yes. you're using the stuff the wrong way. Yes, yes. Yes. You can have all that prophecy. Faith, knowledge, and still not be pleasing unto God. Yeah, I just said prophecy. Know all the mysteries and have knowledge. Have all the you think you got all the faith. All the faith. Really, you got all the faith. Really. Really. You think you got all the faith. That's what they think is. So that I could remove the mountain. I got so much faith I can make a mountain move. But if I don't have love, I'm nothing. I'm a bad preacher. Boy. I can preach up one side, down the other, all in the book of the Bible. Know every prophet, know every, know every disciple, know, know every chapter. I can quote verse after verse after verse. But if I don't have love, it don't mean nothing. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. 
Watch this one. Watch this one. This is the one that sneak past for some time. It says, though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor. Uh -huh. Watch this. Watch this. No, this is what some of us do. This is what we, 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 we just count our love just like this. Even though I, I, got, I can bestow all my goods to feed the poor. Yeah. And though I can give my body to be burned, I give my body as a sacrifice. And have not charity or love, it don't profit me nothing. Let me go on walk and add some stuff to it. But that means I can do all kinds of stuff that look good to do. Uh -huh. But I can do it the wrong way. I can feed hungry people, slam mashed potatoes on their plate. Give them five green beans. Each one of y'all gonna be five green beans. Put five green beans on each one of them plate. You mean I can do all, I can close the neck and feed the hungry. Amen. I can lay hands on the sick and they lay over and then just get healed. Amen. Just back in the sun. But if I don't do it with love, it don't profit me nothing. You mean these folks out there with feed lines? Y'all church ain't doing nothing. But look at you, you're doing the feed line and you ain't got no love. Uh -huh. Come on. You, you got a line, but ain't no love. Uh -huh. See, that's what, that's what the old days old folks used to feed us with. They fed us with some love. Uh -huh. They didn't have much. But love made the difference. This wasn't the scraps that kept us going. It was the love that was inside of what we were getting. We knew we had holy pants on with holes in them. But it was the love that was displayed getting holy pants ready to wear in the morning. Some of y'all ain't more two or three down, hand down. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, treat that shirt right. I got to wear it next. <laughs> look at what love looks like. Hey, look, even though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, though I give my body to be burned, and have not love or charity, it don't profit me nothing. Somebody come in here, and you help them with the light here. Amen. And don't you come in here no more. I don't give you this time. Don't you come in no more. Don't you come in no more. Ain't done out of love. It don't profit you nothing. No wonder it ain't working. No wonder you feed the poor, but ain't nobody coming back to church. Because you gotta check yourself. Because you're wrecking yourself. Because you're not doing it out of First love. <laughs> and like, oh, what love? First love. First love. Love is it. Return to your first love. Period. See, you want to go, what was my first love? Return to your first love. We know that God is love. Return to God. We want to finish the sentence, brother, brother, brother Tom. We want to finish the sentence. You need to return to your first love. I just told you, return to your first love. Return to your first love. That's the end of the sentence. God is love. Instead of being love there, return to God. God's way of doing things. I know I ain't an apostle, so you ain't gonna listen to me. That's all right. I ain't got bishop on the first end of my name. I can have bishop on the first end of my name, but if I don't have love, I ain't nothing. I can have apostle on the first end of my name, but if I ain't showing no love, it ain't nothing. I can have deacon on the first end of my name, but if it ain't shown down in love, it don't mean what? Nothing. In Corinth, they were seeking after all of them gifts. I, I want to speak in tongues. I want to be able to prophesy. I want to be able to do this and do that. I want to have this title. I want to be this and that and the other. And all the distinctions end at the grave. All of them go in the toy box because you can't take none of them with you. I told somebody, they don't need no pastor in heaven. They don't need no mayor. They don't need no senator in heaven. They don't need no deacon in heaven. They don't need no wife in heaven. They don't need no husband in heaven. Oh, yeah. that, that, Pastor said, that's for 
It might have got advanced in the way to do it, but it's the same thing, baby. Yeah. 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 You're a child, right? A lot of times we get 18 years to raise you. And then when we turn you loose, you still don't know it all. Amen. I know I'm not doing a good job, Toy, yet. It's not real clear in the teaching profession. You wouldn't call what I'm doing real clear. <laughs> Paul said, You see in part, you, you look like you're looking through a dim mirror. It's like looking through your chrome bump or something, a piece of metal, not a real mirror glass, but a piece of metal or something you can just see shapes in. You looking through that, and you think you know it all. Baby, you better sit there. What, what happened? <laughs> Be 
We make them a pity. We dress it up. We make it up. Look good. For him that gave up. So the rich one you. You gave him your husband. But you got to put him. We didn't know the box was a door. It had four colors. We thought it couldn't open, but there's an opening at the back of the door. He's standing at the door, knocking. He said, if you open up the door, I will come in. Thank you. 